Ooh, hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to, uh, the second bonus episode of Diddy Kong Racing. I know I said I would get this out a while ago, but, uh, I'm lazy, so sorry about that. Oh, no, don't start crap. Uh, so this one's gonna be about the, uh, like, magic cheat codes that you can put in here. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. You can see this option, the options here that says magic codes, and it'll come up to this menu, and here, there's a bunch of different codes that you can put into change things in the game to make things easier or harder for you or just make it more fun if you want to. Uh, there's a code list there, I'm not going to really show that off, that's pretty self-explanatory. And if you want to turn off any of the codes or just de delete them, you can choose clear all codes. Or on the codes list you can turn them on and off, it's really pretty simplistic. And I'm just here to show you what each of the codes does and what each of the codes is, I guess. So, um, there's going to be quite a bit of cutting around in this video, sorry about that, but that's just the most efficient way to do it. Now that that gobbledygook is all, all out of the way, uh, we'll start here. Okay guys, so the first code here we have is, uh, bombs away. If you put that in, all balloons are red. And now, um, one thing I should note about these codes, no, don't put another one, uh, that's good, is that some of them work only in the tracks mode, or like the time trial mode of the game. Some of them work uh, in both adventure and tracks. Most of them only work in the tracks, though. I'll show you what I mean by tracks. You can see you can go down here and go to tracks, and you can just pick any like course to race on that you want. And so, uh, yeah, I'll show this. This is one that only works in uh, in tracks, unfortunately. It doesn't actually work in the adventure mode. But I'll show you. Here we have. Mm -hmm. And as we go over this hill, you'll see all the balloons are indeed red. It's crazy, isn't it? You can see that uh, if you use this right, if red balloon's your favorite or whatever, you can put this in and just have a blast. What can I say? <laughs> have a blast. Get it. God, I'm horrible. Alright, uh, next code. Alrighty, the second code is Rocket Fuel, and this one makes all balloons blue. It also only works for tracks. Uh, I'll go show that off really quick. Okay, guys, so in the race here, uh... As you can see, we'll come up on some balloons around the waterfall here, and they are all blue. So there you go. That's fun. God, I love the blue balloons. I love that. I love the sound effect. Man, I miss LP in this game. Ah, oh, well, I can't be having nostalgia. Okay, no, it's next code. Sorry. Okay, guys. So our third code here is Toxic Offender, and following the trade of our past two codes, all balloons are green. There you go. And so, just to prove that it works, like the other two, I'll go show it off in a race really quick. So hold on. Alrighty, here in Ever Everfrost Peak, uh... Yeah, and this is another one that only works in tracks, by the way, so don't get your hopes up about this one being specific to adventure or some crazy thing. But yeah, you can see there that all of them are green, you can poot out things like that. Uh, anytime you really want. So there you go. And next one. Up next, we have Body Armor. Can you guess what this one does? Oh my god, all balloons are yellow. Who'd have thunk it? Jeez. Alright, now. And, uh, if this worked right, let's see. Yup, there you go. All these balloons are yellow. <laughs> Probably one of the most useless balloons ever. I don't know, the rainbow balloon's kind of worse. But, uh, there you go. And speaking of the rainbow balloon... Alright, this one's a little bit long, so be sure you put it in right, because uh, if you put it in wrong, it'll erase it all automatically for you when you press OK. But opposites attract uh, makes all balloons rainbow, of course. So there you go. And just like all the other balloon modifier thingies, this one only works in tracks. But it works quite well, you can see. Got all these rainbow things. The only real advantage that the rainbow ones have is that they're not, like, butt ugly. These ones are actually pretty cool looking. Oh my god. <laughs> well, uh, that's it for all the balloon modifying ones. Now we'll get on to some more uh, fun ones, some more different ones even. Okay, next up is Free For All, which, uh, maximum power up. That sounds a little bit cryptic, I know, but it's another sort of balloon modifier where uh, the first balloon you get will be at, like a level three balloon. I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It also only works in tracks. It doesn't work in adventures like the other ones. So here we go. Alright, so Fossil Canyon, here we go, I love this track. 
I'm just trying to do a bunch of different tracks just so it does, it's not always the same, like, boring track. But, alright, so we'll pick up a balloon here. Well, oh, well, there you go. I guess that still shows it off to an extent. I didn't pick up the balloon, but someone else did and just used the level 3 version of it automatically on me. And it does work for all balloons. Like, you see the level 3 red balloons here. Like I said, it doesn't work in Adventure. I know that kind of sucks, but there you go. Okay, now, bye-bye balloons. I wonder if you can guess what this one does. Disable weapons. Yeah, it makes all the balloons go away. Only in tracks mode again. So, sorry for that. Uh, I guess this is just more if you want to challenge yourself, just to see how good you are with just pure racing. Uh, I'll show you that it does indeed work. So, here we go. Ooh, Pirate Lagoon. I love the sunsetty feeling. It's nice just to kind of go through each of these tracks, even though we don't go through them much, just to go back and revisit them. But as you can see, uh, normally there'd be a bunch of balloons around here, but there's really not any, not any to speak of. It's kind of barren, actually. Hmm. So this could be kind of fun, I guess, just to test your racing ability, like I said. Either way, uh, there you go. That's how that works. And uh, next up... Bogus Bananas, and this one will uh, make, instead of how bananas normally raise your speed when you get like 10 of them, they reduce your speed here, up to a maximum of 10 just like the other ones, and uh, I think this, yeah, this one only works on tracks as well, so there you go, and uh, I'll go prove it real quick, so here we go. Okay, this one take, might take, uh, it could be a little tricky to actually show off what it does, but I'll put on the speed, like, speedometer here. And you'll see that uh, I'm like around 60, just below 60 here. And as I get bananas, which I'm not sure this is the best course for getting bananas in, but you'll see that as I get bananas up to a maximum of 10, that um, that they'll slow me down. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. Sorry, I kind of went silent there for a second. Yeah, you can see you start to just go slower and slower. It's a little bit crazy. Eventually, like, once you get up to 10, your speed gets just to, like, around 30, your max speed, which is absolutely bonkers, but there you go. I could have gone up there and get, gotten some bananas. I just want to show off if I can get up to a maximum of, the maximum of 10 bananas here. I'm not totally sure that I'm able to do that. Uh, actually, I think there might be some bananas over this way, so let's just go get one really quick. Yeah, we're at max now, so as you can see, our max speed is pretty damn low. Like I said, this won't work in Adventure, so don't worry about that. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Alright, and here we have no yellow stuff. Gotta love how co colloquial that one is. And it disables bananas. That means that basically there are no bananas in any of the races. Uh, and this one also only works in tracks. I know it's kind of a recurring thing. It's almost not even worth mentioning anymore, but there are a few that will work in Adventure, so... But for now, I'll just show off this one. That works in tracks. Alright, here we are in a Greenwood Village. We've had a lot of fun with this one, I know. And uh, you'll see that no matter where you look, there's no yellow stuff. So, yeah, no bananas to be found, unfortunately. Love, I love my bananas, but they're just not here. Hmm. So I guess this could be sort of helpful, I don't know, just whatever. I mean, you really want bananas as much as you can. If you combine it with the next code that I'm about to show you, though, uh, then it could be pretty useful, actually. You could give you a pretty unfair advantage. If you'll see what I mean. And I'm actually going to show off uh, the next two codes together, just because it'll be easier to show off one code with the other one. Um, it's kind of hard to explain that without you actually seeing it, but, well, then I'll just let you see it then, won't I? Yeah. Alright, the first one here is a uh, free fruit. And again, this only works in tracks, but you'll start with 10 bananas at the start of the race. And like I said, if you combine that with uh, the no bananas, the no yellow stuff code, then it'll, it'll give you an unfair advantage over the others, so that can be kind of useful to remember. And the next code that kind of pairs with this one. Here we have vitamin B, very nutritious, and it is no limit to bananas. That's a little bit weird sounding, because you're like, well, there's really no limit to bananas anyways. But it means that there's no limit to the speed boost that bananas will give you, because normally it caps at 10, like anything past 10 bananas won't really count towards your speed. Now it will. And again, this only applies to tracks. I'll go show it off really quick. Alright, here we are, and uh, as you can see from the free fruit one, we start with 10 bananas up there. And our speed, you'll see, now that we can actually, uh, 
as we get more and more bananas, even beyond 10, our speed will increase. It's kind of hard to show, even with the speedometer band there. But as you, as you get, like, really high up in bananas, like, you can get up to, like, 20, 30-some even if you really set your mind to it. I'm just kind of going out of my way to get them here. You really shouldn't do this if you're trying to win a race, but... And, uh, yeah, your speed will not stop going up. It'll eventually... Like, I guess if you were to get the maximum bananas, like, 99 or whatever, which is really impossible without, like, cheat codes and stuff, then you could, uh, pretty much cap at 150 speed, which would be nuts. Yeah, but there you go. And I'm not sure if, um, if this works with the bogus bananas code, the one that makes bananas slow you down. I'm not sure if that'll, like, it'll make it s you slow down infinitely, so, that, like, if you'll eventually hit zero. I haven't tested that, uh... I mean, you can test it if you want to find out. Post a video response if you really want to. I know that bogus bananas will work with free fruit, though, so you'll start with 10 bananas, but those 10 bananas will slow you down. Uh, that'll work, I know, that much. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the banana cheat code, so on to the next one. Sorry for taking so long on this one. Jeez. Alright, now for a more wacky one. Arnold, which is the best name they could have ever picked for this. Uh, big characters. This one actually works in adventure and tracks. And basically it does, as advertised, it makes your characters just a little bit bigger. So, I'll go show that off really quick. Alright, here we are. And oh my god, I'm ginormous! I'm actually not that much bigger. It's kind of hard to tell here. But, uh, yeah, there's big old Tip Top. And, if, and it'll apply to all the other racers, too. I'm not sure if it applies to Wizpig in there, but... And this will work in tracks as well, like I said. So, uh, yeah, there you go. It's just kind of a fun thing to do. And to contrast with this one, our next code is Teeny Weenies, which is uh, much longer to put in, but it makes your characters small, and again, it applies to both adventure and tracks, so I'll go show that to you. <laughs> Look at how tiny I am, this is so cute. Oh my god, I love it, it's great. I want to go race Whiz Pig like this, this would be fun. I almost ran over the drumstick thing there, that was cool. Man, I don't know if you can run over those frogs as a little guy, because you're like as big as they are. That's so funny. See how big, big I am compared to the genie. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, that's so adorable. Well, anyways, um, yeah, that's it for that. The next one is actually really cool, so, uh, next code, please. Okay, I'm actually showing off these next two codes together since they're kind of, they work together. And the first one is Joint Venture, which is really awesome. It gives you the two-player adventure option. I'll show you how to activate that in a second, and as obviously this only works for adventure and not for tracks. And the code that goes along with this one is Double Vision. And this one, it uh, lets you select the same player. So if you're playing the Joint Venture, you can both play as the same character, which you wouldn't normally be able to do. And uh, I'll actually go show that off really quick. Not even cutting this time, because you have to show this. Uh, so on the second controller here, if you press A on that, then you get your second player option. And uh, as you can see with that one code active, you can both select the same character like this. So there you go. And uh, I'll go show that off really quick. This one might take a little bit longer to show off than most, but... So you control, like, your main character here. The first player controls this, and up in the top right corner you can see Diddy's smug mug staring at you, or whoever the second character is. It's not always going to be Diddy, of course. And so, yeah, the first player controls on the overworld, but the moment you go into a race, you'll see here that, uh... Yeah, choose the car, whatever. Could have chosen a plane to be awkward. And there you go, you got your double character destroyage. This is great. <laughs> and it's really hard to control both these things at the same time. I'm not going to be able to steer. Oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> this is fun, though. Double monkey vision. This is great. Let's see if we can get each other to meet up. I'm going to control the second player here. And, uh... Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Are you scared yet? This is a little bit creepy. Well, um... <laughs> Let's get away from this creepy factor and just move on to our next code, what do you say? Okay, this is uh, Blabbermouth, this is just another like little fun one, and it's Horn Cheat. And, uh, oh my god, sorry, my throat is kind of scratchy. But uh, this one works in tracks and adventure, and it's really it doesn't really do anything for you, but uh, I'll show you what it does. It basically changes your horn to uh, something else. Alright, yeah, so in the adventure here, uh, you go over here and you, like, you honk, and normally you'd have your horn, and but this time... You can just honk and do your character sounds, isn't that fun? Like I said, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose, because honking doesn't serve much of a purpose in the game anyway, except to summon Taj here. 
But, uh, yeah. Alright, this one, off-road, it only works in tracks. Uh, it would be great if it worked in adventure. It would be so much more helpful. It's still pretty helpful, because tracks, uh, there's one thing you can do that with that that I'll show off in the next bonus episode, actually. But uh, off-road, it gives you four-wheel drive, which basically means that even if you're, like, driving off the track, then you won't lose speed. So, um, I'll just go show that off really quick, I guess. Jungle Falls. Yeah, just for the hell of it and doing this one. Uh, I'm pretty much going in order of whatever. But as you can see, uh, well, actually you can't see yet because we're not off-road. But when you drive off the road, uh, your speed really doesn't go down. It, it still goes down if you go into the water, obviously. But uh, you can drive all along the sand or along grass or whatever off-road conditions you have. And uh, you'll be just fine. You won't lose any speed whatsoever. It's pretty phenomenal, actually. And like I said, uh, this can be pretty helpful for... A little something-something that'll show off in the next bonus episode, the last bonus episode, probably. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Alright, one of the last few codes here is Zap the Zippers, which is gonna make things harder for you. It turns off the zippers only in tracks mode. It doesn't, uh, affect adventure mode at all. And, uh, yeah, it basically does as advertised. I'll just show you that it works. Alright, windmill planes just for the hell of it, because there's quite a few zippers in here, normally. And as you can see, none of them stay here anymore. Not the ones in the air, not the ones on the ground, nothing. There's absolutely nothing here, so you got to rely on just your balloon usage, and, uh... Man, it looks so, like, barren and scary. If you combine this with the Bye Bye Balloons cheat, this would be... You could make this, like, a serious super racing game. Like, there's nothing to help you. It's just your ability to maneuver. That would be pretty fun, I guess. A pretty cool challenge. Uh, anyways, um, on to our last three codes. And the next one is actually kind of fun to utilize, so... Uh, here we go. Time to lose. Yeah, this one's a little bit disheartening sounding, isn't it? It's, uh, Ultimate AI. This one works in both Adventure and, uh, Tracks mode. And basically, it makes the AI ridiculous. Like, they go faster, they use their balloons smarter. It's pretty savage, actually. I'll go show that off really quick. Going with Hop Top Volcano this time, because I'm feeling the mood. And as you'll see here, um, well, it's kind of hard to actually show this one off, but you can see that they are, yeah, see, they're going crazy with their balloons already. They're a lot faster. I don't know if you can tell. I can show the map, I guess, just to show. They stay pretty reasonably far ahead of you. And like I said, uh, this is tracks mode that I'm in right now, but this will work in adventure mode, too. So if you're up for a challenge, then put this on for sure. I don't think it affects whiz pig races, actually. I'm pretty sure I tried that and it didn't really change anything. Of course, hell if I know Whizpig's hard enough as is that you wouldn't really know as much of a difference, would you? So, uh, yeah, there's that. And, uh, the next two are... They don't really affect the game too much, but they'll they'll be fun to show off anyways. Alrighty, Jukebox. This one is, uh, pretty fun. It gives you the music menu, and I'll show you what that means. We actually, uh, you stay in the options menu, go to audio options, and normally this music test option here wouldn't be available unless you put in that code. So it just lets you mis listen to, like, any of the tracks. The first two ones aren't, they're, like, blank for some reason, but the second one, that's where it starts actually giving you stuff, and, uh, there's a bunch of ones here. That's a fun little theme. I think this goes up to, like, 65 or something. I'm not sure what that one was. Uh, I'll just go through a few of them here, I guess. Uh, 30? Ooh, I love that one. That's the start of the race theme. I think this is the credits theme. Um... That's just some random sound effect, I guess. Another random sound effect? Like, the same one except higher pitch? Oh no! No, not this! Oh god, I picked... <laughs> what are the odds that I picked the Whizpig theme? No! Oh, now it's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the year. <laughs> Crap. And, uh... Yeah, it stops at 65 here. Which is, uh, this one. Which is just some random course theme, I think. I think it's... What is this one? Whale Bay? I forget. And, uh, that's that one. And there's only one more code to show off, so let's go do it. Our final code is who did this, which, uh, it'll display the credits. Yeah, basically, as soon as you leave this, uh, magic codes menu, you just press B to leave. There's the credits. They just start a roll, and it's, it's weird, I know. Yeah, so the way you're supposed to figure out these magic codes without, like, the internet or anything, which I used, I didn't do it the legit way or anything, I guess, is, uh, 
you watch the credits, and at the end of the credits, they'll give you a uh, they'll give you one of the magic codes. I'm not sure if you can get all of the magic codes that way. I know you can get quite a few of them, as you saw in my LP. Both times we watched the credits, we got one at the end. Uh, sorry, I'm adjusting my chair. That probably caused some irritating background noise. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's it for the magic codes there. How long is this recording? Uh, good lord, 36 minutes to do all that. There's gonna be a lot of cutting out, I know, but still, it's gonna be a long video. And so even though this is the third time we're seeing the credits, um, this is not the final video. It's one more bonus video to show off where I show you how to unlock the last character. That one could take a while to actually set up for me, so, uh, I'll get around to that one. Anyways, um... Yeah, so you can combine a bunch of these magic codes to have a bunch of cool effects. I'm pretty sure that if you like combine some of like the contradicting ones, like if you were to, if you were to combine the Arnold and Teeny Weeny codes, like the big and small character codes, then uh, you'd only be able to you'd only be allowed to have one of those active at a time. Same if like uh, you're trying to make all the balloons one color and you have two of those codes, like if you have Toxic Offender and Opposites Attract on at the same time, uh, they won't let you do that actually. You'll have to just pick one to have on. So, uh, that's how that works. In case anyone was wondering. And, uh, if there's anything else that you want me to clear up, just ask me in the comments or send me a message, whatever you want to do. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So, a special thanks to H. Lincoln, and, uh, that's how I'll end this off. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you next bonus video. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.